Okay, so hopefully you're starting to feel comfortable thinking of the wiki as a tool. In this eighth video, we're going to go beyond just the wiki and look at other kinds of tools. Collectively, they represent this tool set that you use when you're making your living. Okay, We've talked about structuring things and having information represent knowledge. So this page right here, this represents me. It's not just data about me. It's going to resonate and be me. It represents my accounts that I've got, and I'm going to now put a bunch of other things into this page, which represents the personal expression I want to have. To do that, we're going to go over to my blog. I have this wonderful blog here. I have blog posts, links, uh, videos, um, I've got uh, all sorts of books and PowerPoint presentations I've created, uh, information about me, and the archives go way back. This one to 2004. I've actually got blog posts that go back to 2001. So what we're going to do today is we're going to create a new blog post. This is how I express myself. This isn't necessarily my business. This is me personally, but it's also an effective way for me to get my message across. Okay. Now this morning I wake up. And my friend Doc Searles has an article written in the Wall Street Journal. There's a video about him, and I want to blog about this and tell everybody about it. Okay, So I'm going to go over to my blog, and I'm going to create a new blog post called The Customer is God. All right, so I'm really basically channeling and reposting what Doc uh, has said. So I'll say Doc Searles is hitting... The big time, he's got an article in the Wall Street Journal. I can't type very well today. And there's even a video interview of him. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I go and I copy the URL of that article, which is up here. I go copy this article, and then I go over to my blog post, and I right where it says he's got an article in the Wall Street Journal today, I then go and make a link to the article on those words. Okay. Now, earlier I went and grabbed an image of, of from this article, so I'm going to go get that image, I'm going to upload it into my blog, and then we're going to embed that into the blog post. So let's open up and get this image, which I prepared earlier, which was taken as a screen grab from the Doc Searles video interview. So I'm going to insert it into my post. The image is too big, so I'm going to shrink it down in size, let's say 70% smaller, and just update that, and look at that inside this blog post. Okay? So... Maybe what I'll do is I'll have the image be after the text. So first I have the text, then I'll have the image, I'll hit publish, and now we can see that very simple blog post that I just created on a blog called Mark's Voice. Okay, this is my blog. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and look at this blog post. It looks all good. It's kind of simple. And so now what I'm going to do is make sure that everybody sees that blog post. I can automatically like this blog post and send it up to Facebook. And I can send a copy of this up to Twitter so that I could say something like, The Doc Meister has hit the big time. And I can also go and copy what's called the URL, the the permalink of the article. So I'm going to go click on the title of the post and up will come this thing up on the top in the address bar which is what we call the permalink, the actual address of the specific blog post. So I'm going to go copy that and I'm going to go over to another social network I have called Google Plus. Okay, now here I don't have the automatic link so I'm going to show you how I do it manually. I just go over to Google Plus I click over here into the link place, I paste in this URL, and I say the Dotmeister has hit the big time. This is how I'm spreading this article around the blogosphere.
This is the way it'll look like on uh, Twitter. This is it on Google+. Here's what it looks like over on Facebook, right here. And you can see I can spread this message of this blog post near and far using the social media tools that I have at my disposal. Posting blog posts to social networks is one way to interact with people and get the message out. But you can also go to a conversation site like Quora and create a formal conversation. So we could go here to Quora and search for the Intention Economy, which is the name of Doc's book. And I could go down here at the bottom and post something and say, Hey, hey everybody, Doc is in the Wall Street Journal. Then I can just paste the URL in there and add this comment to this existing Quora conversation. So we can start new conversations. We can add bits to existing conversations. We've got the blog. And I now want to summarize all the different things that we've been talking about. Okay, we started with the notion of a wiki page, a simple place that contains links. And then we added to that by saying it could be a collection of links. And that, in fact, we could have a formal collection of things called a list or an agenda, a to-do list. And that we could have a collection of a collection of things. And we could create these hierarchical structures. And we could put structure into meaning. And we could take that meaning and we could turn that into representational meaning, something like a profile. Right Now, what we're trying to do is teach you how to think of the wiki as a tool. And we're going to now add to that new kinds of tools like calendars and embedded videos and all the different things that we've got at our disposal in the online world. Now, the point here is that each person gets to forge their own vision of what their life can be like, what their job can be, what their loves are what their existence is, and it's all based upon this online culture that we're cultivating. We work our way up through representing things, to structuring things, and then to simultaneity, where we've got many kinds of links linking together at the same time. We can embed things, we can have dynamic information, and that leads us to personal expression. And now we can comment, we can have conversations. Now we're bringing in community, and we're interacting with people together. These kind of growth and this expansion of this stuff leads to organizing ideas.